This was England versus Brazil in the quarter-final of the 2002 World Cup, which was held in South Korea and Japan. England had a very good tournament so far, including a 3-0 win over Denmark in the second round. And this was an absolutely iconic Brazil team, so featuring some of the best players in the world. They had some legends playing for us. Carlos, Cafu, Dinho, Ronaldo, Rivaldo. I knew it, was, it would be a tough game, but I was sure that we could win. They'd had a really good tournament so far and they were certainly one of the pre-tournament favourites. Some of the iconic players in that England lineup: David Beckham of course, Michael Owen, Rio Ferdinand and then the goalkeeper David Seaman. I was a bit worried. I've been watching uh, David Beckham since he started in uh, Man U and that guy was awesome, world class. The game had started much as many of us expected it to with Brazil having much of the early opening play. And in some moment on the first half, you just lose it. It was quite a fortunate goal. It was a very uncharacteristic error from Lucio Owen with sort of a typical poacher's ability, picked up on that, took the ball from him and, and managed to score. As an England fan at the time, it was it was absolutely brilliant. I'd never expected us to, to take the lead against Brazil. We lose our minds until the end of the first half. It was a goal that was created by the brilliance of Ronaldinho. As soon as uh, Ronaldo saw the opening and Rivaldo was there, everyone knew Rivaldo would score from there. Going into the second half, Brazil scored one of the sort of the strangest goals that you'll see at a World Cup Finals. It was a free kick from Ronaldinho about 40 yards out. Everyone says that he didn't mean to do that. And if it was any other player, I would, I would agree with that. Because that was a really weird way to hit the ball. But this guy, he is amazing. I believe he actually meant that. And when that ball went in, everyone went crazy. After that, it was England needing to press to try and get back a goal to stay in the game. Ronaldinho, who'd had a brilliant game up to this point, was late in a tackle on the England right-back Danny Mills. Um, it was judged to have been a stamp by the referee, and so he was shown a straight red card, which was a sad end to what was actually a brilliant afternoon from him. Brazil certainly defended very well and restricted what England were able to create. As an England fan, looking back, when that full-time whistle blew, it was obviously devastating to have lost. That game was something else. Do you play awesome football in that game? He killed it. That Brazil team was, was just excellent. They were by far the best team in the world at the time, and now I think there's no shame in having lost to a team of so many skilled players.